This month, seasonal rains could start filling Ethiopia's $4 billion hydropower dam. But this week, three of the Nile River powers, Sudan, Egypt and Ethiopia, said talks to end a dispute over its flow of water have failed. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, the centerpiece of Addis Ababa's bid to become Africa's biggest power exporter, has raised concerns downstream in Cairo. Egypt's population of more than 10 million almost entirely depends on already scarce supplies from the Nile. And the fear is that Ethiopia's dam, located on the Blue Nile, the source of most of the Nile's water, will further restrict access. The African nation launched mediation talks two weeks ago, but on Monday, Ethiopia's foreign ministry said the talks had ended without agreement because of unchanged, additional and excessive demands from Egypt and Sudan. Sudan's information minister said a fair solution was needed, and Egypt said they are trying to reach an agreement. But progress is still being made, according to the International Crisis Group's Director of Global Advocacy, Alyssa Jobson. The talks have paused um, that so, that they can, so that the parties can put together a report for the African Union. I mean, we've been hearing actually that the talks have been more constructive and that they've been making incremental progress. So we're quite positive about the progress that's been made. We, the key thing, I think, is keeping the parties at the table. The more they can talk, the more likely they are to, to reach an agreement. The three countries have been expected to sign an agreement in Washington in February, but Ethiopia skipped the meeting and only Egypt initialed the deal. Sudan and Egypt are seeking a legally binding agreement before the dam is filled.